Hey there, Geminis, and welcome now to Friday. I think you got the best weekend out of everybody. Don't tell anyone now, but I think it's true. Let's start with today. Now, we had a lunar eclipse two days ago, Gemini, in Virgo, which was a big smack of gravity. And if you play back and watch Wednesday's horoscope, I probably said, sometimes I forget, that there's a three to five day delay on the lunar eclipse vibration, three to five days. That means that wave ought to be coming in any second now. And if you don't know, that wave deals with how you take care of yourself. This is your self-mothering energy. Yes, everyone has to self-mother. Sorry, it's part of reality, and it does kind of suck. But I just went through this transit because I'm a Taurus. I'm one sign ahead of you in this regard, and I learned how to brush my teeth during this transit. Some amazing things. Make my bed. Take care of myself. Basically, if I were to summarize what this transit is, you're going to learn how to finally put your own oxygen mask on first in the airplane before your husband and children. That's really the way it works. And a lot of times we are all set up to be giving oxygen away to other people and not feeding ourselves. So there's going to be this reevaluation of whether or not you are getting to eat first or at least getting to eat. And you might get a wave of gravity that shows that to you. So if you do get this sudden wave and you find your bikini off and you're out floating in the ocean, the key to remember is that was a wave to show you that your bikini wasn't tied on tight enough right? You weren't taking care of yourself. And that's the universe. So try to take it in stride. Now over the weekend, the moon moves into Libra, which is really good news because emotionally you're going to have your inner child kind of light up like a Christmas tree. I think you're going to want to be creative this weekend. I think you want to be romantic. I think all are good. I think if you have children, you want to spend time with the children, you know? So it's a good weekend to play and have a good time. And a couple other things. Mars is about to leave your sign. You know, Mars has been in Gemini forever because it actually went retrograde and then direct. And right now it's actually being ruled by Mars, which means in layman's terms, come on, Chris, get with it. It means move forward with what your ego wants. Go forward, go direct. If your ego wants a new car, go get a new car. Just make sure you can afford it. But definitely play into what your ego wants. Do it with balance in the Gemini way. And the universe is going to sign that check, says Chris Wateke. All right, that's all we have for the weekend forecast. See you back on Monday, Gemini. Live, love, be.